video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We've got the client from The Mandalorian. This is the uh, last one I've been waiting on for the uh, last couple of waves, uh, just to sort of wrap up. Um, you know, the latest couple of waves of figures. Um, so yeah, really, really excited about this one. Big props goes out to Daniel Weiss 1000, who just reviewed this figure yesterday in his best Werner Herzog accent possible. And he did a really good job, so all credit goes out to him. Um, this is a cool looking figure. Really, really excited about this one. Um, yeah, he, he had a really, really interesting character, really intriguing role. Didn't get a didn't get a proper name, but it might be the client. You know, it is it is Star Wars? It is space. There are weird names. And client could be his last name. You know, the they they client. Who knows? <laughs> I doubt it. But this one's looking pretty cool. I'm excited to crack this one open and take a look. So uh, yeah, number twenty. A mysterious Imperial who keeps a low profile in a safe house on Navarro. The client is the face behind an otherwise faceless bounty and off the record assignment with high value. So you're definitely a, uh, a pawn to the puppet that is, uh, to the puppeteer that is uh, Moff Gideon. And uh, I've just started opening it. So I'll do the rest off camera and we'll get the figure out and take a look at its accessories and the figure itself. All right, guys, here is the client. He is looking fantastic. He has got that sort of regal look about him. He is fantastic. Accessory-wise, it does come with the first of the six-inch scale cam tonos, which is really, really cool. Um, not sure how to open these just yet. I will work it out. Um, I assume they just sort of pop out. There we go, there's one, that'll do. So a nice little bit of detail in there. A little bit of a softer plastic sort of tag air holding them in. And that makes it a bit easier to pop them out. Handle on the top, details, and then we have stacks of Beskar bricks. You can see, sit inside, and there is another one. So they will indeed sit in there nicely we'll close him up ta-da okay not a perfect fit I'm sure I could uh, muck around and get them to fit a little bit more cleanly I'm sure they will um, just doing it the way I am on camera um, otherwise he does come with the tracking fob um, which is pretty cool little red dot nice details Hold that very nicely in his hand, like so. So, let's get a close-up look at this guy. Yeah, that's pretty much bang on. A little bit of a you know, facial tone. It's pretty, just sort of one shade of skin tone. But again, we are talking about a toy here, basically, so can't expect all the detail in the world um, for a figure like this. Whereas with a hot toy, yeah, you'd expect a little more. But uh, this isn't a hot toy, this is just an action figure. So yeah, the medallion and the necklace is a separate part, so that's cool. So that just sort of sits there on his collar. And I like the sort of sort of material sort of overthrow on the shoulder you know, bold patch <laughs> so that actually looks quite funny I don't know if I realized that in the show that he had a bold patch but uh you know, the way they sort of sculpted that that's, that's actually quite funny almost thought that was a an error for a moment there but no it's very much meant to be there as far as I know <laughs> but yeah the uh this sort of little pendant chain that sort of hangs off of either side to stop it from slipping back. Definitely got the sort of leather coat there, the sort of nice sort of sculpt and molding pattern in the coat looks good. Get these sort of straps that are molded on so you can uh, tie them up when he's feeling a little bit cooler in the evening. It's definitely got a sort of classic imperial belt buckle there. 
look underneath sort of standard imperial legs in brown I dare say they're no different but um i'm sure they've been used before will be used again um but yeah that look that's fine you don't really need any more detail on the legs than that looking at the back again you got that awesome sort of leather look pattern the band that straps around the back sort of brown sort of cuffs on the sleeves of his coat yeah just just looking at the uh the head sculpt here there's almost you could almost get away with some smart paint apps you could almost get away with a uh, chancellor palpatine paint application on this face we've very much got the sort of receded hairline don't know that i can't remember seeing palpatine whether he's bold or not but uh could be a sneaky way for hasbro to get a get another figure out but you know you put it up there and you can sort of see the uh sort of bags under his eyes, the sort of the sculpting and stuff that goes into that face. It's very much on uh, Werner Herzog, so. It's all just different lighting, but you could almost get away with it, I think. But he looks good. I'm digging it. I'm liking this figure. I look forward to, uh, Eventually setting up my figures again and having this guy join the uh, Mandalorian shelf. But for now, he will be escorted safely into my tub of figures that I'm very quickly filling up as I'm uh, living out of home. Or well, living, not out of home, but living back at home. It's while my life is sorted out. You don't need to know all that, it's fine. So yeah, Camtono, awesome accessory. The client, fantastic looking figure, nice addition to the collection. Hope you've all enjoyed this review. Please sound out down below. I'd love to hear what you think. And, uh, yeah, well, stay tuned and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you, always.